Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss about one more important thing regarding your preparation of exam and that is practice of questions. So I'll talk about various things regarding practicing questions. Uh, I'll start from what and why exactly practicing of question is so important. Then we'll talk about that how uh, you can like how you should uh, rationalize your time between revision and practice. Then I'll give you some examples related to that and we'll also talk about that from where you can practice questions. So you can go to the specific section of the video from the timestamp given in the description of this video or you can just scroll down uh, to the different timestamps if you are interested in watching a particular section of the video. Now before jumping into the video, if you are new to this channel and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do consider subscribing it and uh, let's continue with our video now. So if you are going to ask anyone who is either teaching for CSI net exam or who has either qualified this exam, they all will tell you that practicing question is very, very important. Okay, that's because when you practice a question that gives you a kind of muscle memory, you understand the concept also over there and you also understand that how to apply that concept. Okay, because this thing I have seen in past years, I, am, I have been teaching students and I know that students know a lot like there are so many students who have so much of knowledge but they lack in practicing question and that's what they that it get affected in their exam so in the exam when they sit uh, they know the concept but they don't know how to apply it in the question but on the other hand there are students who don't even know the concept like in detail of it but they just know the formula they just know the little bit about it and they are able to solve questions uh, especially I'll tell you about quantum chemistry because there are so many people I know those who don't understand quantum chemistry exactly actually quantum chemistry is very weird it's not like nobody understands it completely but yeah uh, for exam perspective there are ways in which you can solve like you, you can develop that kind of trick and that kind of muscle memory that is going to help you in solving questions in the exam so that's why practicing gives you that ability uh, to understand and to to solve questions in an effective way uh, so that when you sit in the exam you are able to solve and and at the end of the day that only matters because when you sit in the exam it matters that whether you are able to solve the question or not whether you know the concept or not it does not matter it matters for interview and it matters for the long for the longest for the longer perspective but for the exam point of view it only matters that whether you are able to solve it or not so that particular thing whether you are able to solve it or not that is going to come by practicing questions more and more you will practice more command you will get over that topic more confidence you are going to get and in that way it will be easy for you whenever you are going to sit in exam uh, if you tell if i tell you about myself when i was preparing for this exam uh, like at that time i had solved uh, like i don't know how many questions i have solved i didn't give them proper like uh, numbers but i have three uh, like thick thick notebooks filled of these question like only by solving questions okay so that has helped me in, in qualifying the exam and and it has been helping students it has been helping people in the past many years so that's why whenever somebody asks me that uh, sir what should i do uh, for the exam i have so many i have such a less number of days or i have not studied much what should I do, how to prepare for exam. So first thing which I tell them is to practice question because that's the key of of qualifying, especially for CSI net exam, okay. Now, I know that exam is near, now you don't have that much of time. So you also have to revise concepts, you also have to read new topics and you also have to practice, right. So how you have to manage it, okay, how you can manage it. So let's talk about it. So let's assume that you have six hours, you are studying for six hours, although uh, I'm not giving, I'm not telling you that you have to study for six hours, it depends upon you, you might study for four hours only or you might study for eight or ten hours, it depends upon you. But one thing which I will tell you over here is, please increase the number of time or increase the number of hours which you are dedicating for your preparation. Uh, because now exam is near so whatever you were doing earlier, it's fine. But now be consistent and just increase a little bit of time of your preparation. So let's come back to this and let's assume that you are having six hours or you are giving six hours to your preparation. Now in these six hours you can like divide it like this that you can give at least two hours to practicing questions and out of the other four hours you can just revise for other two hours and you can 
understand about the concept for the next uh, two hours or you can give three hours to practicing questions one and a half hour to revision and one uh, one and a half hour to study new concepts so that's how you have to give and you have to give actually more a uh, part of your time towards practicing questions right so that's how you can manage preparation revision and uh, you know understanding new concepts so this is how you have to do it so now the question comes that from where to practice because uh, CSR net level questions are not available everywhere. So the first thing and which every one of you should do, whosoever is preparing for this exam, you have to do this is solve previous year's questions. You have to solve previous year's question and that you cannot ignore. Okay, Previous year's questions are available since 2011 June itself till 2021 exam. So it is roughly around 20 papers and if you count the number of just chemistry questions, it's roughly around 2500. So you are you have somewhere around 2500 questions which you can practice including organic, inorganic and physical. Now I had made a ebook in which I have separated out these questions topic wise and chapter wise that is also available. If you want you can you can buy that and you can practice with that or uh, you can just download the previous year's question and you can do it of your own. Okay, so that is totally up to you. Second thing is, if you have done these previous year's question, now from where to get new questions? So new questions are available on the back side of uh, like books. Uh, if you are following, if you if you want to do more questions from physical chemistry, you have to read books or you have to open up books. Basically, K. L. Kapoor you can refer. In K. L. Kapoor, there are so many examples, so many questions that you can practice from there. Then comes uh, inorganic chemistry. For inorganic chemistry, uh, books like Ajay Kumar is there. Then books like uh, Missler and Tar is there. Shivers and Atkins is there. So after every chapter, there are questions over there as well. So you can practice those questions also. Then for organic chemistry, you have Caruthers, you have Clayden, you have questions over there also. Examples are there or there are uh, unsolved questions. You can so follow them as well. Then you can also refer to the solution manual of these books to refer them. But it will take time. Uh, because now you have to uh, you know search for the questions that takes a little bit of time but yeah you can do that then if you want some more questions in that case you can go for test series okay you can uh, you can buy any test series of any coaching or any institute and there you will get questions and that thing also you can do otherwise if you want more questions in that case an academy offers a dedicated subscription which is called an academy light subscription which is not that costly and that subscription gives access to all the mock tests which are available on an academy it also gives you access to all the pre previous years questions which are available on the an academy platform so the benefit of this is that on the app you can uh, like you can give tests you can solve questions and that will also give you a exam kind of ex experience where you will be having timer along with the question so that uh, like you will track down that how much time you are taking for solving a particular question. Apart from all these things, I am also going to launch an ebook uh, which will include 1000 practice questions. Uh, I guess that much questions we can do this time. Uh, in the next time, we can increase the number of questions. But for now, I think 1000 plus questions will be there in that ebook. So that is going to be launched very soon. Uh, those will be totally new questions not from the previous year so that also you can like if you want you can also get that particular ebook that is still in progress so by one week it will be live so these are some places from where you can get more questions extra questions apart from previous years so first thing is to do previous years and then you can go for any of these options which are having like extra questions okay so you can go for any of these options one more very important thing which I want to tell you that whenever you are practicing question, it is advised that you solve it against a clock or against a stopwatch. So if you have a mobile phone, just start your stopwatch and then solve the question. That will help you to understand or analyze that how much time you are consuming on a particular question. It will also give you a pseudo exam kind of situation or exam kind of condition where you are solving question in a, in a limited amount of time and that will also help you to track down that whether organic chemistry is taking more time or inorganic chemistry is taking more time or which specific topic questions are taking more time okay you can make this practicing more uh, useful or you can say more productive by doing reverse studying of the concept in that case like these i generally uh, ref like i i generally suggest when the time is very less for the exam okay so i suggest students to solve questions to start solving questions uh, like of any topic if they have studied it's fine if they have not then then also try to solve question and if they are able to solve question it's good if they are not able to solve question in that case 
then study about that particular concept and this thing is very effective for physical chemistry topics especially so let's say you have not studied quantum chemistry much but you know little bit about it you know about commutators and little bit about it so just go and start solving question from quantum chemistry let's say you are stuck at a particular question then see the solution of it or uh, reverse back and read about that particular thing and then again come back and solve that question so in that way in less time you will be able to cover more number of topic you will be able to cover uh, more concepts and you will also get that kind of muscle memory or that kind of uh, you know that kind of required knowledge for the example uh, for the exam perspective these were the things i wanted to discuss because i know exams are near and many people are neglecting this practicing they are more focused towards reading the concept they are more focused towards learning new thing or to study new things or to study new concepts see this exam is not about studying this much it's about study limited study sufficient and practice that so that you don't forget or you are able to execute that in exam so execution is more important for csir net exam all right so that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much